Alrighty, let's play this whole thing. Because I love you. I think. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I love you. Ugh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I feel so itchy. Sorry. <laughs> Interesting, let's see. Because I love you. I think. Because I love you. I think. No. I like it, but I have questions. The funny thing is, at first I was thinking, don't do that in terms of the the back neck scratch, because it's a very common thing to do. But then, so itchy. but then she says that, so it's actually actually okay. I mean, you could potentially do a different thing just because it is so common, just like that one arm down, and then the other arm is you know scratching that side. Um, but I'm not. There's some nice contrast. I'm not totally against it. Now, my questions are... Because I love you. There's something interesting where he's already pretty concerned. Uh, just got to work on your eyeline. But he has that concerned look. Because already has that reaction. It's it, it definitely feels like a shot out of a sequence. Where I feel like something happened before. And he's still reacting to that. Hence that first move. And then she says that. It's kind of neat that she says it on the podium to an audience. Maybe she had a speech before, and now she just thinks about her, you know, her own situation and says it out loud in front of people. Hence, being so embarrassing. Yeah, I love you. Ugh, that's embarrassing. But then she goes back and says it again to make sure everybody hears it, which is a bit weird. Again, this is very, very subjective. But these are my my strange thoughts on this. I'm wondering, and I hate to do this again because I did already that previous shot where I was just coming up with other ideas. But I would love, for, I would love for uh, for you to send me a uh, some more reasoning or just your thoughts behind it. Because I don't want to destroy this because I think it's a cool idea. I'm just curious what your thoughts are and what your um, thought process is in terms of why is he reacting like this, and then she why is she saying it in front of the public you know, uh, audience there, and why does she get back to it? Because it's almost like she she has the head forward and does her speech. That's an awesome drawing, by the way. <laughs> As if she was saying something, right? She, she has a speech, she's leaning forward, and then she stopped. She stopped the speech because suddenly now she's, she speaks out loud about her thoughts and feelings. And that's what happened in the previous shot. And that's why he's looking like this. Because wait, why are you stopping the speech? Because I love you. And I think that it's it's still okay for her then to go back. I'm just thinking out loud if it's if there was a previous shot. For her to go back and realize, wait, I actually love you. And that's why she does that, assuming that that person is in the audience. I think. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then she goes that. But then the guy is so mad here and takes over. I don't know. I'm curious to hear your thought process on this. Overall, I mean, again, I like it. Because I love you. I think. And I know he looks over there, so he must be looking at the same person that she loves. And she tells him again. Ugh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Feels so itchy. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Um thoughts but i like it this is a very strange critique because <laughs> my initial thought was oh wait what if we change this where she actually loves him and she just did a speech or something and then stopped and goes back when she turns around and goes i love you and then but looks at him and then it becomes all about them and their connection and it happens to have the mic there and she would react. I mean, she would tell that to him, and then look over, and realize, oh wait, there's a mic. Everybody can hear this. And then she goes away. And then she, she actually goes like that towards him, and then they hold hands, which is a wholly different shot. Totally different shot. Don't do it. <laughs> because I love you. I think. So looking at this, let's say I like everything, right? Which I do. Because I love you. Because I love. 
I just be careful with having him move. Because then it takes the focus. I want to look at him. And then I'm suddenly looking here. And I might have missed that beginning. So my question to you is, why is he reacting early? And do we need it? Can it just be less of a move and just blinks and maybe a frown? So there's still an action, but it, there's not so much body movement that as an audience, I'm looking here and I'm looking here. At the same time, they're not overlapping. He's doing it and then she's doing it. So there's there's a good back and forth. So I have mostly more questions than, <laughs> than feedback. I think. Well, that's cool. I like your thought. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That works as well. You got... Maybe that hand could be a bit lower so that the tip is not right there. I'm very picky here. But you're going to have nice color silhouettes because of the shirt and the skin color being different. Yeah, I love you. And it's cute. I like the the you know the changes in terms of posture where it's like that. Yeah. It goes straight. I love you. It goes forward. There's a lot of um, you know silhouette changes, which is great. It's great contrast. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> this be the only thing is maybe this. So if I had to give you two actual comments on this. Curious if we need all of this movement with him at the beginning that might still focus away from her and potentially a different acting choice um, for the itchy part. And it could be something on her face, a chin or somewhere else and not that just because it is a bit of a common move. I'm itchy. Sorry. Feels so itchy. And then be careful again here when feels so itchy. it feels so itchy. Like I want to look at her because she says it and she does that. But just be mindful that that's a big move again. And I'm going to look at him. So if you're okay with missing that reaction or that last moment here because of him stealing the focus, then that's okay. I don't quite mind, but I think you could potentially delay just a bit so that he starts it right when she says itchy. Because we still hear it, the mind, you know, we would just we still get the gestures, we still hear itchy. And then when he moves, we still have itch in our head, but we're ready to look over. So potentially just delay that by a couple of frames. Sorry. And then that happens. All right. So potentially slightly confusing feedback. Again, just to recap, my main notes, you might want to reduce this move. You might want to find a different acting choice for this and delay this moment. These are, I think, probably the more clear pieces of suggestion or just piece of advice or just suggestions in general other than that uh my questions to you are why is it reacting like this what happened before can we use that history to inform uh different acting choices to do something else uh or you want to keep everything the way it is just you know give me some background and some history that would be awesome other than that that is it thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.